really good. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Camaro SS Lee, LT2 manifold, headers, and now it's tuned by Guani Performance, GPI, Ryan Stevens. That's who I went with, you know, did my homework online and I know there's a lot of companies and there's a lot of good companies, but that's who I chose and that's who I'm sticking with, you know. So today we're going to go on the dyno, we're going to take the Camaro, take it on the dyno and see the gains with the headers, LT2 manifold and the tune. Last time we were at the dyno, you know, stock, it did 402, we put the LT2 manifold, no tune and went 413. The torque stayed the same in between both, you know, 415, somewhere around there. So now with the tuned headers and LT2 manifold, I'm expecting, I don't know, more than 25 horsepower gain, hopefully. And uh, after that, we'll turn on the flex fuel sensor, we'll throw some E85, and we'll continue to tune with it. So uh, I'm waiting for Omar, I'm gonna meet with him. He's got the Mustang V6 with the nitrous and uh, we're gonna check the parameters controller and uh, see if that's working or see if we have to tweak it. Once uh, once we get that kit all set up, we're gonna do a video on that car and show you everything he's at, he has done with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's jump right into the dyno and uh, let's do some pulls. One thing I haven't uh, covered is the tuning of the Camaro uh, and I won't do it because I'll put a link in the description but uh, Guani Performance they have on their YouTube they have like four videos on step by step how to tune and it's pretty self-explanatory you know if you follow that it's super easy they tell you once you get the HP tuners how to make an account how to put the credits on there how to transfer it into the program how to tune the car how to you know get the tune from then into the program into the car and then how to data log and then save it and send it to them and it's all pretty simple you know if you follow those videos it's pretty easy so i'm not going to make a video on it you know everything on communication with them so far has been really good he sends me tunes i send them data logs i ask questions here and there and we just back and forward you know 93 tune is done that's why we're going to the dyno and uh, once we're done i already have the flex tune so i switch on to that throw some e85 and uh start tuning for that and we'll go back to the dyno so right now let's skip to the dyno and let's do some pulls First pass, we're gonna save the log, give it a second, and go again on touring. That's some good games, we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. Yeah. Omar's Mustang V6. We're gonna do a little baseline. Little baseline so then uh, we can fill up the bottle and do some pulls on the bottle and see if we can get it all uh, figured out and working out. Limiter. If you don't do a foot, I'm going to make some power. 
¿Esta es la botella o no? No paro. 271, 282. He just opened up the bottle, he warmed it up. What could go wrong, right? Let's see if it makes a little difference. Just a little spray, just a little spray. 75 shot, purge, 93 tune. Alright, so I'm home. I just loaded the flex tune. I'm about to go waste some fuel and uh, throw E85 in it, but before that. So, the power gain was good. I thought I was gonna get, you know, 25 horsepower and torque above, and ended up being like 34, 35 horsepower, and then like 33 torque. So, that's pretty good. And then I had the previous. Um, dyno put with this one but i don't know if it's the same fire or not because it looks different like the you know the max power at rpm it looks different so i don't know if it's not but i'll still show it so you can see it on the screen but i mean pretty good gains pretty good gains on just on tune and headers so over 30 horsepower that's pretty good the weather it might have been a couple degrees colder than last time but i always do standard smoothie five I don't care about that all them little details or whatnot i just want to see if there was gains and i looked at the logs no knock the timing was there and everything else would be for the tuner to decide if he needs to change anything so all in all i'm happy with the gains but now it's time to put some ud5 uh finish up tuning it and then bring it back to the dyno so and then also omar we put this car on the dyno as you can see and the parameters he has set on the controller i think they're a little bit way too much on the safer side and kind of hard to have it engage so we talked and uh he's gonna get he's getting the bottle filled and we're gonna change those parameters a little bit to be a little bit more aggressive or easier to get it to engage and then a little bit more aggressive coming in to see if we can actually feel a difference because right now i think the percentage like the way he has it to activate and the percentage that it's coming in is just way too slow i mean it's super safe but it's just you don't get to feel really that much of it so yeah once we get that all figured out we're definitely going to do a video on that car so we can see the difference of you know nitrous versus no nitrous he started at 50 now he's in a 75 shot is he gonna go up to 100 i don't know we'll see if it was up to marty it'd be at 150 already <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much it you know 34 35 horsepower gain 33 torque that's pretty good it's up there over the 6000 rpm so yeah i'm excited i'm excited to keep tuning in with uh with ryan from uh gpi so we'll see so as always if you like the video give us a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think about the gains any changes or whatnot and uh subscribe to see what's coming over next see y'all later peace